Hong Kong. Hey, hey, come back, Johnny. No, I'm still reading. Story, it's story time. Hey, uh, oh. <laughs> has that ever been you? You are trying to read a story, and your your child has literally ran out the door, or a student in your class is has totally disengaged and walked away. Well, in today's video, I am going to show you some really simple tools that I've used with my kids and students in a classroom. First way to engage children is with puppets. So you can use a full hand puppet or you can use finger puppets. And I recommend keeping your little engagement tools nearby. Um, but young children love puppets. Well, most children love puppets or just things outside of the box. You can also use things like magnets. Even having, especially the children who are having trouble staying seated, inviting them to come up with a letter or a number or something that deals with the story. So magnets, or if you have a flannel board, um, this is by far my favorite one, mystery bags. Um, particularly if you're gonna read a story, um, and I don't know, you're like, Ooh, what's in my bag? <gasps> what's in my bag? And you might have a little one come up and you're playing, teasing, and it's a clue about the story, what the story is gonna be about. So you have a seashell. So mystery bags, and you can use mystery bags the whole way through. You can have props and tools of how you're gonna keep young children engaged. And if you can put things like in the story, that's in the bag, it will keep them engaged throughout the whole time. So mystery bags. Um, and by far, one of my favorite ways to keep young children engaged is by singing music. And you can even sing your story time expectations. Um, I kind of made my own little twist to a popular song. It goes, eyes are watching, ears are listening, voices are quiet, bodies calm. This is how we listen. This is how we listen at story time, at story time. So that's just the simple song that you can sing even before you're getting ready to, or you can have the children pat. I used to do this with my pre-K class. We're about to read a story, a story, a story, papa. And even change the tonations in your voice so they're really listening like, oh, we're about to read a story. A story, a story, a story, a story. Put your hands on your knee, your knee, your knee. Put your hands on your nose, your nose. And you can whisper and you can bring it up. And then when all the kids are watching, then you pop out your story. <laughs> and so that's just a simple way to engage little ones. And then your last power tip, which is by far one of the best tools is to the story that the kids are interested in. And so you can invite maybe between two books, two books that you want them to read. Um, I don't know, Places in My Community or See Sand Me. Um, or, you know, just books that you know that you want the little ones to read. So that's just some quick little strategies. Um, give them choices that are real choices, choices that, you know, you want either or the other. <laughs> but let me know in the chat below what has been some of your favorite ways to keep your students or the children in your home engaged. Let's talk about it. And if you haven't watched part one of the Better Storytime series of how we talk about setting up your storytime environment, go ahead and watch that video below.